Hi Sierra, I wanted to chat more about science and tech. I've got some killer arguments for why it should keep going full speed ahead. Oh Max, not again. Do we really have to do this? I've got better things to do, like soaking up some sun and bird watching. Come on Sierra, this is way more fun than spying a Tweety bird. You won't believe how awesome tech is for our future. All right, Max. You've got my attention. Let's hear it. What's your brilliant reasoning this time? Well, Sierra, tech has been crucial for our survival as a species. Remember how our ancestors invented hunting tools to get their food? Oh, please, Max. Are you seriously going to bore me with a history lesson? Well, Sierra, don't get bored now. I'm just getting started. You haven't heard the best yet. Oh boy, I'm on the edge of my seat. Ha, very funny, Sierra. But seriously think about how our ancestors first struck rocks together to create sparks. Fire was lit. It helped us stay warm in cold weather, cook our food, and even scare off predators. It was a game changer for human history. Yeah, I get it. Fire was cool and all that. But what about the drawbacks? It's caused tons of wildfires and air pollution. And don't get me started on other tech disasters like nukes that can wipe out millions of people in seconds, or factories that spew out toxic fumes and waste into the air and water, or cars that burn fossil fuels and contribute to global warming, or how we destroyed natural habitats and biodiversity in the name of agriculture and development. I understand your concerns but you must admit that everything comes with disadvantages. Nothing is perfect. The question is whether the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. And for most advancements, I believe they do. For example, agriculture and industrialization have been very beneficial for humanity. They have increased our food production, reduced hunger and malnutrition, and improved our health and life expectancy. They have created more jobs for people. I see your point, Max. But it's not just about survival. It's about preserving our environment and living sustainably. We need to be responsible and mindful of our impact on the planet. Well, those are not really the fault of tech itself, but rather how we use or misuse it. That's just semantics, Max. The point is, technology can be dangerous if we don't control or regulate it properly. You are being too pessimistic. Technology is not the only culprit for the problems we face. Nature is not all that rosy or rainbow and sunshine as you think. What do you mean? I mean nature can be cruel and destructive too. Think about all the natural disasters that can happen at any time. Like asteroids, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Those are rare events, Max. They don't happen every day. But they can happen any day. And when they do, they can cause more damage than anything we have ever done. Oh, please. You are exaggerating. You may not realize this, but asteroids have hit the Earth numerous times in the past. They have also caused many mass extinctions. I don't really care. It's not like I'm going to live long enough to see one of those rocks falling from the sky. And even if I did, what could I do about it? Maybe I will just hide under a table. Well, you should care, Sierra, because one of those asteroids could hit us again anytime soon. And if we don't have the technology to detect it and deflect or destroy it, we could be wiped out like the dinosaurs. Max, come on. You've been watching too much Ice Age again, haven't you? That's so unlikely to happen. It's not unlikely, Sierra. It's inevitable. It's just a matter of time. Well, then maybe we should just enjoy our time while we can, instead of worrying about things we can't control. Or maybe we should use our time wisely and invest in technology that can help us control them or escape them. Escape them? What do you mean? I mean colonizing other planets. That's the ultimate goal of tech and progress. To make other worlds habitable for us in case this one becomes uninhabitable. Oh, Max, you are such a dreamer. You really think we can just pack up and leave this planet and go live on Mars or something? Are you planning to join Elon Musk on his crazy expedition to Mars? And why not? 
we have already sent rovers and probes there and have mapped out its surface and atmosphere. We have also discovered water and ice there. Maybe we shouldn't try to change Mars into Earth 2.0, but rather appreciate Earth 1.0 for what it is and try to preserve it as much as possible. We are doing both. We are also working on making Earth greener and cleaner by using renewable energy, smart grids, biodegradable plastics, vertical farming, electric vehicles, and many more innovations to reduce our environmental impact and preserve our natural resources. But we also need to be prepared for the worst case scenarios. What if a giant asteroid hits us? Or a supervolcano erupts? What if a pandemic wipes out most of humanity? We need to have a backup plan. Oh boy, here we go again with the fear of total annihilation. Even if they do happen, maybe it would be a good thing for the planet. Maybe nature needs a fresh start without us messing things up. That's a defeatist attitude. We shouldn't give up on our potential as a species and let nature dictate our destiny. We should use our intelligence, creativity and technology to overcome nature's challenges, protect ourselves and improve our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your speech for your TED Talk, Max. I'm sure you'll wow them with your visionary ideas and your passion for space exploration. But right now, I'm tired. I just want to get back to my bird watching activity. Maybe you should try it. Who knows, you will probably spot a beautiful cardinal. Yeah, sure, Sierra. That will be amazing until it gets hit by an asteroid or eaten by an alien invader from Mars. You're such a drama queen. But I guess that's what makes you interesting and fun to talk to. You always challenge me to think outside the box and consider different perspectives. Maybe one day I'll go to Mars with you. But for now, let's me go get some ice cream. <laughs>